Let's, uh, let's spend a couple of days in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. Well, I'm pretty much all set up and uh, I'm ready. I'm gonna be using my my uh, Atmos, my Osprey backpacking bag to uh, to hold my camera equipment. It's a good park here. It's a it's a good uh, campsite or campground. It's big. There's a lot of people here. They're full for tonight. I think there are 200 plus sites. Um, the bathrooms are exquisite. They're clean. Um, there is no electricity in this park for those of you that are watching that would like to know but real quick um, Let me show you a few cool things here. Every every campsite has a Picnic table a lantern hook Right. Oh, sorry right there and a fire grate and then you're the, I think this is at least I'm in an area where it's exclusively tents Um this is a great pad, and they're all like this, very level, 16 by 16 by 16 feet, and uh, completely level, and that kind of that crushed granite gravel. And then uh, you have a nice driveway to drive up. So I'm kind of bored. For those of you that know me, uh, I get bored quick. And so I don't really feel a whole lot like driving up to the, the lookouts for tonight. It's supposed to thunderstorm, but the ranger did tell me there's a waterfall that I have yet to see that the kids and I haven't seen yet inside this park back in what's called the Cascades. So I'm actually going to put the pack on, take the camera, and we're going to go photograph some waterfalls. Let's go have some fun. misses and probably two miles too much of trail I finally found this cascade so let's go do a little photography and call it a night it gets dark in the Smokies early because it's like a rainforest and it's human all right so I've been doing some uh, really been dragging the shutter on this shot to get these falls so I've composed it both in the landscape orientation as well as in the portrait orientation as you can see here it's um it's pretty um, you start to get to a place when you're in the mountains uh, or the smokies that the waterfalls all kind of start to look the same so this is a little bit different a little new i like the way that the trees are framing in the top of the the top of the falls it's like a triangle i think that's really nice and the falls are coming out the bottom of those but on this one here i'm using a very very dark dark solid neutral density filter it's an eight stop filter it drops the shutter speed down dramatically so to expose this shot my shutter speed is at about 25 seconds click and it's open about 25 seconds i'll put the settings on the screen for this one so you know what i set it at and you'll be able to see
That's it, right there. You climb up this part right here, and you go over this top, and then you're up on the other side of that rock. And it's an amazing view down this way and down that way. And of course you can see back here too. Huh. All right. All right, so we're, we're finished up on the Chimney Tops Trail. And it's been, uh, it's been fun. A lot of work for what seems like nothing. But when you're in the Smoky Mountain National Park, there's a lot of rain, especially in the summer. You have to plan for that. And so what I decided to do was make it, I'll photograph some waterfalls because in the Smokies, as you know, if you've been here and if you haven't, you will learn, there are waterfalls everywhere. So at the base of the Chimney Tops Trail on bridge number two, we've got this beautiful falls here. And I decided that I would explain a little bit more because I didn't do a good job. And I'm gonna put the equipment away because it's raining. Um, of the neutral density filter. So I took the, the flare cover off. And I just thought I would show you, that's the neutral density filter. And you can see how dark that is. So what that does, that darkens up, it makes it so the shutter has to open a lot longer. And when the shutter opens a lot longer, it makes the water seem like cotton, which is what we want. So I'm zoomed out to 35 on this, which on my lens is effectively 52, uh, because I have a crop sensor camera. But um, I'll show you the result of this, the way that this looks. I, I love the way that this is framed in with the trees, got the log across the top, just a full force of water coming down. It's very, very pretty. Now I have it on timer, and the reason that I have it on timer is because the shutter is open for so long that when my finger pushes the button, we don't want any camera shake whatsoever, um, causing the image to not be sharp. So we're going to focus in. We're going to shoot this shot, and I'll uh, I'll show you the results on the screen here. And that's uh, going to end our trip here. So we'll have some breakfast. All right. Well, I've been hanging out here at the Morton Overlook. Um, my van is, it's, it's, a, it's really been funny. First of all, Morton Overlook is the best spot in the Smokies, in my opinion, for sunset. So I've been making a mess here. I'm, uh, I'm making some coffee right here, and I've been having some oatmeal. I decided to have some breakfast after my chimney tops fail, but it's really great. I'm underneath the back end here. It's raining like crazy. You probably can't see it. Maybe you can. But uh, it's raining like crazy, and I've got my kitchen, and just, it's great. I'm not getting rained on, and everybody is coming over, and they want to see the van, and they want to see the inside, and they see the back, and they think it's really cool. What a setup, and you should travel the country, a couple of people said, so maybe I will. We're going to, when the rain stops, um, I'm going to take the opportunity because we have a lot of drama, as you can see, down in the valley. All is drama. So we're going to use the graduated neutral density filter, the ND8. Just want to write that down. We're going to use the ND8. So we're going to light or darken up the sky, make it a little more ominous, and uh, bring some drama out of those trees and those clouds at the bottom. So we're going to take that shot on our trek back. Uh, we're close to the Newfound Gap from go, coming from Gatlinburg, going toward the Newfound Gap, uh, and then up and over back down to Smoke Mount, which is on the other side. That's where I prefer to stay. So I'm going to have another cup of coffee. I'm going to finish my maple and brown sugar oatmeal that I love so much. And uh, I'm not sure when we'll see each other again, but uh, it will, it'll be pretty soon. All right, so uh, I'm going to show some of the photos from this particular shot 
that I'm going to get uh, shortly. It, like I say, as soon as the rain stops and the equipment won't get wet. Well, well, coffee stuck. See? All right, Rob out. Be back. Well, the skies have cleared up this afternoon, and it is a sporadic cloud cover, but we have some pretty dramatic light showing itself along the uh, Morton Overlook here, which is a pretty cool sunset spot. So we're going to sit here and wait and see what the clouds do and see if the sun going down in the west is going to give us some decent color. Um, the skies are clear to the southeast, and it, may give us an opportunity even to do some Milky Way photography, which I might do instead of going and um, doing uh, sunrise photography tomorrow. Just sleep in tomorrow. We'll see. So let's see how this Morton Overlook turns out. We're, uh, we're going we're gonna to set up shop here, I think. All right, so we had to move away. clouds were so bad and so I moved to this roadside uh, bridge here and focusing right now on that set of clouds out there and what we're hoping for is all this lights up like that is over there so I'm gonna be switching lenses I'm using my 70 to 200 right now so I can get in tight to those clouds and then we're gonna open it wide in just a second here because I have a feeling that that color that's over there will be all up here too. I guess we'll see. All right, so we're back at Morton Overlook. We left and went somewhere else because the light was better over there. There were a lot of clouds here over the valley where Morton Overlook is at, and uh, ultimately came back because the sky was lighting up bright yellow over here, and so I beelined it back over here, and uh, I got the shot that I wanted to get here. It was amazing, the clouds split up, so there's a lot of drama in the shot. I'm gonna put it on the screen so you're gonna see it. Um, I actually uh, had to stack the neutral density filters, these right here, um, because the sky was so bright and the foreground was so dark, I had to stack them. So I've got a graduated neutral density eight and a graduated neutral density four stacked in my Koken filter. I can stack them three deep right there. So now I'm shooting a time lapse as the sun's going down. So uh, the clouds will be moving across. We'll have about a 15 second video off of that. And if it works out okay, I'm gonna Put that on this video so we're going to call that good for smoky mountain national park uh, we're going to head out tomorrow morning not sure where we're going to go but it's been fun a uh, little bit drenched raining it's always a good time here smoky mountain national park is a challenge it is one of those areas where you really got to just do what you can to make the best of it and uh, i think we did that over this trip so i hope you enjoyed this trip and uh, you know if you find the video helpful i'd love to have you as a subscriber if you can click the thumbs up button that would be outstanding i'd really appreciate that and um, i really appreciate you joining me for these adventures looking forward to uh, i think we're going to go to max patch uh, in the next video we'll see uh, day at a time i'm just kind of rolling with it all right right out